How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be the cards to avoid buying number two. I haven't made one of these uh, in about a month at least so these are going to be cards that you should not buy in my opinion just because I don't think they're the greatest cards and not really worth their value. If you guys leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, let's hop into the video right now. Starting off first with Brent Seabrook. I mean Brent Seabrook you know, on the surface, looks like a pretty good card, right? 6'3", 220, right-handed D-man. You know, he's got 91 defensive awareness, 86 body checking, but the acceleration at 79 is just, it's killer. I mean, there's really not much more to say. That's terrible. Like, that is just something that is not going to play at all. You need, you need at least like 84 acceleration there to become, you know, to even justify it, I feel like. That is just atrocious atrocious skating there the agility is also 79 so it's not like it's just an acceleration issue it's just just an issue completely so i mean seabrook like i said could be a good card but i mean this is this is pretty bad uh that acceleration just not gonna cut it um he's got silver shut down though which is nice but i just i don't think for this value it's, it's really worth it i just don't so for me number one you know in this video for cars to avoid is, is Brent Zebra. Back Thompson. So the thing about some of these 83 cars that I'm mentioning is they're really expensive also due to the fact that they're next gen cars and you need 83s to trade in to make the MSPs for the next gen MSP. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. But um, the thing about Jack Thompson is guys, so he's, you know, he's a six one right-handed defenseman, which is fine. Like that's not a bad build like for a defenseman. It's really not. Um, I don't like his defensive awareness. I'll say that. Um, only 82 with two-way defenseman active, and I do not like his endurance either for a D-man. Only being 81 with synergies active, and 83 excel and 84 speed. His shot isn't great either. Yeah, he's got a powerful shot, but the accuracy is pretty, you know, pretty horrific. If we're being honest, so um, I just feel like in general, this is a card that I would not, I would not buy and use. I mean, if you're, you're buying him to use into a set, that's different. But yeah, the only, the only really way I can say that you can make this card work is. I guess in a very sheltered role in the third pair. But other than that, I mean, I would just avoid this card completely. I really would. Next up, we have 86 Alex Petrangelo. So he's going for around 300k right now. There's only one on the market. But 6'3", 215, right-handed D-man. So yeah, he looks like a solid card. But I just feel like for that like value that cost it's just crazy it really is i mean 85 speed 84 acceleration again this is an msp we're talking about to me it does not does not really equal you know the value of what an msp really is i mean i just don't i don't see it yes he does have 91 defensive awareness 86 botching it's not bad gold shutdown is a good ability but my issue is it's just like the 300k cost is crazy i just feel like i just don't think it's really worth it i just don't um i mean like I said, there's definitely some positives on this car, but for me, the cost just makes it really too unrealistic, and uh, I unfortunately think Petrangelo is a card you should avoid buying um, and upgrading if you have him and you're not maxed him out yet. I just don't think he's good enough. Uh, there's definitely better right Ds out there, I feel like, for a lot, lot cheaper, and I know speed's not everything, but I just feel like uh, this Petrangelo card... You know, you need it a little bit better from him. You you just need a little bit better skating, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just my thoughts. We got Mikel Granlin, Michael Granlin. All right, so he's going for around, you know, 60,000 coins. So that's a lot. You know, you see that, you're like, wow. I mean, 85s in general do go for a lot because there's not that many 85s that are out. But at 5'10", 185... I just feel like when you're going to have someone that's undersized, 5'10", 185, to make them pretty viable, they need to have good speed. Like, I'm not saying small players aren't effective, but they need at least good skating. At least that's my opinion on it, um, to, to be useful. And his face-offs aren't really great either, only 80. So it's not like it's like, wow, like, okay, yeah, he's not that fast, but he's got good face-offs. He doesn't, right? I mean, only 80 face-offs is not amazing. He's got playmaking forward as well. So, I mean, yeah, it helps his agility out and his hands, but... Uh, I just don't feel like that's really, you know, a huge deal. I, I really don't. Uh, he's got gold tape of tape. I mean, that's a fine ability. I don't really love it, though, I will say. But for me, Grandland is a card that I just don't think is really worth it for that that coin value. I, I just don't. Um, and you guys can let me know if, if I'm wrong on that one. But I think Grandland is, is one you guys should avoid. Next up is Mark Stone, guys. I mean, Mark Stone, I mean, are we kidding? I mean, this card is ridiculously bad. For 113k, I mean, this guy's got 83 speed. I mean, are you, are you trolling? Like, actually, like, I definitely understand Goldborn Leader is a great ability, but I don't think that ability can kind of, you know, mask, <laughs> mask how bad this card is. Like, I understand his shot's fine, but... 
guys, it's just not good enough. Like, I've tried using Mark Stone cards over the years. I think I used a Stone card, maybe an HL23, I want to say. I think he had like 88 speed and he was still pretty slow, right? Like, you can notice him being a step behind pretty much every card. So, yeah, I'm going to say Mark Stone's a card I would avoid, guys. I, I just don't really like how Stone plays in game. Stone with good speed, I mean, could be an unbelievable card. I mean, I remember back in NHL 19 when he got traded to Vegas, that card was unbelievable. I mean, it really was. It was one of my favorite cards uh, that I use and a lot of people use, I know, that year. So, you know, definitely, like, he can be a good card, Stone, but... Yeah, this one, this one isn't a good card. Mason McTavish, it was similar to the Jack Thompson card, as I said, guys. Like, he's going for a good amount. You know, a huge reason is because of the sets. But in general, I don't think this card is really worth, you know, investing in here. I mean, he's only got 78 face-offs, 83 speed, 82 acceleration, 82 endurance. For me, endurance is a big thing, actually, too. Like, I feel like endurance is very, very important uh, because... You just want your guys being constantly gassed out there. I mean, that's just that's such a huge disadvantage if you have your entire team just constantly, you know, just out of energy. I mean, it makes a huge difference. Um, and I just feel like it's not worth having someone that you know is not going to be able to be on the ice that long without having to, you know, either be dead tired on the ice or having to come off early, right? So I would say Mason McTavish is definitely a card I would avoid buying as well. Up we got Timu Solani. So this card is definitely going for quite a, mount, quite a bit. Um, I mean, definitely not 590k, but it's probably going for at least 400k. And I would absolutely at all cost avoid buying this card. And for the first of all, the simple reason of, I don't think an 86 overall is worth 400k, 500k, like, in the long run, yeah, right now it might be worth that, but I just feel like if you're gonna buy this card, you know, you could try them out, but I would definitely sell them back quickly, because cards like this that go for a lot of like 86s, like, 400k 500k all it takes is a new salon to come out that's better than this and then boom this card ups plummet in value so it's risky to buy tradable cards you know like a salani especially for 400k because again like an 80s 88 salani comes out and like the next event or something for whatever reason you know then you're cooked um but 80 endurance guys as i mentioned that is just brutal gold wheels is definitely amazing on him don't get me wrong but it's just, it's killer. It really is. It's like he's he's out there and then he's he's just got to come off. I mean, that's just the reality. Like, Solani cannot be a top six forward for you because he'll just get tired too quickly. And then it'll just be like, what's the point? You know what I mean? It, it's just very, it's it's very noticeable. So I feel like Solani also is a card you should avoid avoid buying because, I mean, first of all, he goes for a ton. Second of all, I just think the endurance is just, is, is honestly game changing and not for the good way so let's move on to the next few at fear so 84 overall grand fear so you know he's going for around twenty five thousand coins i know he's an 84 so you might think oh he's not bad but you know you click on his player info and you see he's five foot ten you know that's it's not gonna play unfortunately not not for a goalie at least um defensive boost and energizer is his ability i mean nice that he has an ability but five ten goalies guys i mean just uh not not what you want to probably buy, to be honest. It, it just isn't. So, unfortunately for Rand, for your you know, legendary goaltender in real life, but yeah, not not an HL 25 hut at least. I mean, I, I can't imagine him playing very good. Um, I just think there'd be a lot of better goalie options in Grant. So definitely avoid him if you can. Honey Ahola. So I mean. <sighs> Thing, you know, the thing is, I mean, it's a similar card to Grand Fear. I mean, 24k, but guys, I mean, five foot seven. I mean, that that is just not gonna work. Trust me, it's it's just not. Five foot seven goalie is absurd. I don't think I've ever even tried using a five foot seven goalie. Maybe I should just do it for like science, honestly, at this point. But no, I mean, unfortunately for her, I just don't think it's the viable card. I just really don't. I mean, I, I think it'd be crazy. To expect this card to uh, to be playing good for you, I mean, yeah, some good stats for sure in the quickness area, but at five foot seven, I mean, one sixty five. Unfortunately, she's gonna let up a lot of goals, especially snipes, because I mean, there's just not a lot of um, she's not covering a lot of net. I mean, that's just the reality of it. But uh, those are the cards to avoid right now to buy um, as of November eighteenth. Again, I can make more videos on this in the future. Uh, definitely, you know, maybe once a week, maybe every. Other week depends, but let me know if you guys have any questions about these cards in the comment section down below. For watching this video, if you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you've not already, follow me on Twitch, Henrik, I'm live every single day, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik3Es, and I'll see you guys in the next video.